Hey, it's Deacon Andrew with our Bible devotion for today. It's good to be with you. Our scripture for today is Psalm 46, uh, the first seven verses. Psalm 46 is probably one of the best known and most beloved Psalms uh, because of its words of comfort uh, and hope. Uh, let's hear a word from God today. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. This is one of those psalms that people, myself included, uh, turn to when faced with tragedy, when faced with adversity, uh, when faced with uh, difficult challenges of, of all kinds. And that's really because this psalm is such a beautiful assurance of God's presence um, in our lives. And one of the things I, I always appreciate when I, when I think about this psalm is that it doesn't say that the earth won't ever change. It doesn't say that the mountains won't ever shake. It doesn't say that the waters will never roar and foam. It doesn't say that the nations will never be in an uproar. What it does say is that in the midst of all of those things, whether it's something that's happening kind of within us uh, personally, and those uh, storms that rage uh, within us and around us, or whether it's something that's happening, literally happening uh, in our lives to uh, people we love, people we care about, in a region where we live, uh, in a part of the world, uh, we see so many different examples of, of, of things like this that happen. And so this Psalm is a real comfort uh, to me uh, and I, I hope it is as well for you. Uh, I also love, even though it's not included in the in electionary readings, I really love how this verse, or how this psalm ends, uh, which is uh, verses 10 and 11. Verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Good news, certainly, uh, for us to carry with us as we go out about our day. And so my prayer uh, for you now, let us pray. Good and gracious God, I pray that as people listen to this psalm today, that your presence in their lives bring them comfort and reassurance. Help each person to feel your strength to know you as refuge, to know you as God who is with us in the midst of the storms, the challenges, the tumult, the struggles, the tragedies. And I pray that your presence will sustain and uplift those who dwell on these words today and are reminded of them in times of difficulty. We give you thanks, O oh God, for your faithfulness and for your presence in our lives and in Jesus' name, who gives us the ultimate assurance of your presence always with us, we pray. Amen. Beloved of child of God, may God bless you and keep you today. May God bless you and guide you, encourage you, and equip you as you go out today in faith, even amidst the storm and the tumult, knowing that God is indeed your refuge and strength. 
Amen.